Hey everybody, welcome to the video. In the last video I was talking about fruit and I was showing you my delicious fruits. And in this video I want to say that after a meal we shouldn't feel like exhausted or like super tired. We should be feeling like energy, like a degree of energization. We should feel like still light and pretty fresh to be honest. Most ordinary food, which is like drug, drug, like addictive substances, not, most people can't go a day on just raw foods or fruits, let alone a week or a month or a year or more. Like we can't even go a day, like, or even half a day without eating like processed and drug-like food substances. So we don't even know what it's like to feel light after a meal unless you're eating a little snack of like drug, like biscuits, all drug stuff, like all like this refined wheat, white flour, cakes, all like factory farm, toxic, hormonal disruptive, fattening, unnatural, like pancreas irritating, like congestive, sticky, lymphatic system, like gluing food, food. This this is food like I showed in the last video, I showed them a quick little look there. But anyway, we just ate a big snack, like two of us of all this like delicious food, okay? And like afterwards we're able to stand and like afterwards we're able to stand and not only are we able to stand but we're able to talk and move. Whereas a lot of people like after a proper meal like they're like sluggish. They're getting like with they're getting hung over with food, like food addiction hung over. And I've been there, I'm still recovering. Look at that. Delicious day. So I just want to say it's nice to feel sprightly and your mind can still think after eating. I've eaten in the past where I felt like just like collapsing on the sofa and I just really couldn't think much at all. I couldn't remember perfectly. Uh, so I just want to suggest to you to learn about raw foods, learn about like having a fruit plant based diet or even fruitarianism a fruit based diet. Um, it doesn't have to be strictly fruit but a predominantly fruit diet. Fruit looks good, smells good, it's attractive, it's interesting, we have hands to take, we want to eat fruit. If you put fruit and like non-salted, non-nothing, just pure raw or even pure cooked meat and fruits next to each other, a whole lot of fruits, humans will naturally go for fruits. We don't want to get all like slobbering, juicy, like slimy, like bloody, li like raw or even cooked meat all over us. It's usually people like all the condiments which are addictive, like salt, like all the flavorings and spices and preservatives and colorings. Usually that's what people are eating with their usual drug food. It's not the natural, simple taste of the food without anything added or anything like to make it all spice and flavored up. So eat food simply the way all the animals eat it. There's no like special preparations of making it all like super tasty. Just you eat the food, it has its own natural taste, it tastes good and that's food. So that's real natural food. Or it could be even like some herbs or like greens from the garden if you feel really attracted to greens for some reason. Like sometimes we do, we might be needing a mineral or whatever. But usually fruit gives us the liquid we need, the hydration and liquids, the the, 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 um, the sugars, the simple natural food sugars which is good for energy and our brain and functioning, moving, thinking, working. And it gives us all the like vitamins, phytonutrients, minerals, all this sort of thing as well, okay. So, it's not, I'm we're all basically recovering drug addicts uh, from either drugs or and food. Like food is drug generally, unless you're raised as a fruitarian or a raw foodist, um, which 99.9% .9 of people haven't been. So, yes, I encourage you to feel light and good after your meals and before your meals. And let carnivores eat their carniv carnivorous foods. A lion will never go for an apple over like a, a, a slab of meat that's all bloody and like sinews and everything. We'll never want to tear open a rabbit. I'm like, it's disgusting. No one will, almost nobody will want to do that naturally or instinctually. Hormonally, instinctually, we're driven generally to have sex, which we're generally driven to. That's the biggest one probably that I can think of. Um, we're not driven to like chase down cats. Like we see a cat, and we want to like jump on it and break its neck. Like, I'm not trying to be graphic, but that's what we would do. We don't have the teeth to, to bite an animal, to kill the animal. We don't have the jaw power or the teeth. So, like, uh, just trying to be open to you and, like, realistic and, like, serious. Like, we've been conditioned by the Illuminati, bankers, reptilians, um, all this, the cabal, them, at the head of the world, to be as toxic and sick as possible. They, they spray our air with chemtrails. They pollute our waters, they pollute our food, our food, they lie to us about what food is. We become totally suppressed and un uninstinctual. So this video is about getting you back to being more instinctual and listen to your body more, I encourage you. Acknowledge the fact you probably are, if you probably are, to be honest, a recovering drug addict or food drug addict too. So coffee, 
often even teas with caffeine, salt. Uh, like, why do we have to keep adding salt to food? Because we don't want to taste the food on its own as natural flavor. No animal does that. A high, salt is definitely addictive. Iodized salt, or table salt, is definitely like toxic and addictive. Even all the ordinary sea salts now, Himalayans, rock salts, I think they're generally completely unnecessary and addictive. They get us out of the habit of tasting the natural flavor of food. I know myself and a lot of other people feel way better without taking like all these salt additives. So Coca-Cola, all like bread, all these like processed foods, then all the drugs, all the preservatives, colorings, flavorings, drugs, 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 drugs. They don't grow from the ground, they don't grow on trees. So if you want food, look at the animals and learn from animals. Simple food, no condiments whatsoever, like no spices. I'm not trying to tell you what to eat, I'm just sharing this information with you because I still have spices sometimes and salt too and I'm recovering like drug addicts not that I go around thinking I'm a drug addict of course I do with a pinch of <laughs> excuse the pun but with a pinch of salt <laughs> that's an expression that you know like a pinch of salt like so with a, with a grain of humor with a sense of lightness yeah I'm a recovering drug addict and it's good to notice because then I know like when I ha I'm craving like some like super salty or super like concentrated, unnaturally concentrated, unnatural food instead of like a natural like juicy fruit. Usually when we use like super concentrated stuff, which is that's what drugs are by the way, heroin is like super concentrated like opium from like poppies and stuff. Cocaine is super concentrated like extracts. So instead of going for like super concentrated unnatural processed extracts, ordinary con unconcentrated like liquid filled food, real food like fruits, seems so boring it's totally not drug like enough they don't give us a fix a buzz it's it's sedation they don't stimulate us or sedate us enough so i've noticed this myself and i know the same with lots of other people recovering you have to be honest with yourself and you have to gradually make like little by little on and off back and forth for most people like steps towards recovery and I mean that with a sense of like love, joy and happiness and peace in my heart. Like it's not something to get depressed about. But it's totally ridiculous to be self-denial or like lying to yourself about it. Like you're, you, unless you're a born raw food or fruitarian, you're, you're definitely a drug addict. Or, or and a recovering drug addict at the same time. So I say that with peace in my heart. And um, just this video is aimed to help you to notice and then make steps towards healthier living so you have better menses if you're a woman way better hormones and mood man or woman better relationship better energy much better creativity passion fire and fit living your purpose much better physical well-being less sickness totally avoidance of like all these like stuff like diabetes obesity cardiovascular disease heart attack stroke um, being too fat or being like super skinny by having being a hardcore drug addict, loads of people are like that. So it's about avoiding them and not having to go through the hassle and loads of money and the emotional like devastation of life of being like super sick. And hopefully you can help your family to avoid being like go through the sadness and pain of being like really, really sick too. Because like being sick is no fun. I used to be like really, 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 really sick for like 10, like I don't know, five, six, seven, eight years. And then just sick like badly for like another like three, four, five years, like 13 years in total. So. I know what it's like to go from like the top to rock bottom. Like I was an amazing like super athlete, unstoppable power and force and strength and fitness. Like I was always like super strong. Could do one arm press ups easily, both sides super easy. One legged squats like over and over again, super easy. I could run all day and run up mountains, do loads of weights, exercise seven days a week, and then like I crashed, super crashed. I like, couldn't do anything. Couldn't even shop normally. I couldn't even shop. I couldn't even shop like to do my ordinary shopping because I was too crippled to carry my shopping back or go far for shopping. So I've recovered a long way now. Um, I've re rejuvenated a great deal. It's been a process and a journey for me. I have complete empathy and understanding and compassion for what it's like to be feeling brilliant or else to be feeling like just the worst of the worst. Life being a misery and like depression and like horrible and even physically torturous. So I hope this video acts as a sense of knowledge, inspiration and empowerment and you can go and like lead a very fulfilling, satisfying life of body, mind and spirit, purpose, passion, creativity, live your purpose, get out of depression and eating shit food by the way will absolutely depress you, it messes up your hormonal system, 
it messes up with your body, it irritates your nerves, it, it just makes you tired and drained of energy, it, it interferes with your sex drive too, it interferes with your sleep, all this stimulation and sedation messes you up. So I say with a lot of love and compassion from my heart that I hope this video helps you and you listen and practice little by little. And if you want one-to-one -one coaching with me, I do health coaching and spiritual life coaching and healing. I do that as my work and passion and purpose in my life, as well as owning a herb shop, which also includes superfoods, enzymes and essential oils, which are brilliant, including many, of course, you probably know, many will say are very, very strongly, potently anti-cancerous, tumorous and great for your immune system. So many different things. So if you want any of my services or my help or would like to connect to me one to one, Go below, befriend me on Facebook and check out my website. So I'd love to hear from you. Other than that, I thank you so much for your time and energy. I thank you to the camera lady, Zoomy. Thank you so much for like, bending down the ground and all these other things. <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate you giving it a share, a like and a comment. So if you share this with your friends or family or social media, I'd greatly appreciate it uh, if you liked it. And I thank you so much. And I'll see you again another day. Have a lovely day and uh, enjoy life and lots of love to you. Enjoy your week. Bye, everybody.